Welcome to Seattle. Uh, when you interviewed with the Seahawks, what was your pitch? Why were you the guy they needed to hire? You know, this is a, a position that I've been really preparing for my whole life. And, and when I talked with them, uh, I think really philosophically, myself and, and Coach Carroll uh, really had a lot of similarities in our football philosophy. And, and you know, the conversations really felt natural. And, and so I, I just kept it conversational with him throughout the process. And it just seemed to be the right fit. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, let's go. What was your message to Russell Wilson the first time you spoke with him? I think just uh, having a great uh, collaboration between uh, Russ and myself has been something we've talked about right from the jump. I have some, you know, core fundamental beliefs about offensive football, about the way we want to look as a team. But I also have a great respect for what he's been able to do and, and everything he's been a part of. Let's go! Just having those open lines Let's of communication, go! being able to work well together, uh, and, and really at the end of the day, get to a point where we're doing everything that's best for the team. <laughs> You know, he's a guy that just has that elite focus to study the playbook, to know what, you know, what his role is and not just his role, but what the entire role of the offense is on every single play. You know, just being around him for a couple of days, crushed it in those Zoom meetings. He was always, you know, on point, you know, leading the charge on a lot of those. And you know, he's the guy firing questions off, you know, to other players after we're in those things for, for a couple of days. Let's do it right here. Let's do it right here. Let's go. You know, every everything I imagine where he'd be at this point, that's, that's right where he is. And he just attacks every day with that that really uncommon focus to, to be great. Well, I've heard of previous offensive coordinators characterized as, you know, mad scientists in their labs. Is that what you're like? Or how do you come up with plays that fit in your system? Uh, I really want to be balanced in, in the aspect of having good, uh, you know, fun plays, new ideas, being on the cutting edge of things, but also making sure that we're never uh, losing focus on what the fundamentals of football are. And, you know, I, I really believe in having a system in place and then you can build from there with with all the uh, you know the fun stuff that comes along with with uh, building an offense as, as the days go, especially when uh, camp rolls around. Well, finally, if you're a fan at training camp or a game this year, for that matter, and Russell Wilson and Bobby Wagner aren't available, whose autograph is at the top of your list to get? Oh, at the top of my list right now, probably DK. Man, he's he's, he's out there. He's he, he's doing a little bit about everything, uh, you know, football and and outside of football. So it's been a fun guy to be around and get to know. Gonna throw over the top. It's DK Metcalf making the catch. Man wide open. It's Lockett. He's in. Touchdown, Seahawks. And what excites you the most about being here in Seattle with all those weapons? Oh man, that's that's a tough thing to pick. Uh, pick just one thing, but I, I just think the competitive atmosphere uh, that's around this building, that positive uh, positive energy every single day. For the third time, Tyler Lockett. Touchdown, Seahawks. So with so many different weapons, how do you keep everybody happy? <laughs> well, you know, I think when we have this balanced approach there, I think guys will see, you know, the ball is able to be distributed around to all the different guys. And, and uh, you know, one place someone might be asking to to really work hard for a buddy. Thank you, my boy. boy that's good. Good luck. And I think the more that, that the guys care about each other, know each other, uh, respect each other as, as people and as teammates, it is a, uh, you know, this is a professional football business that we're in, but it's really driven by relationships. Yes, sir, boy! Yes, sir! You know, it just depends on who's open on, on each and each particular player or what the flow of the game is going. And and when they have that respect for each other, I think uh, that, that camaraderie will, will last throughout the course of a season where, you know, one game, one guy might have the hot hand, another game might be someone else. And uh, just keeping that that balance and that mix and and keeping everyone in that positive mindset. Good job, bro. Good stuff. Speaking of exciting, when you saw DK Metcalf compete in the 100 meters at the track event back in May, what was your reaction? That, that was unbelievable. I mean, that was something else. I mean, he's he's such a he's such a big dude, and he's he's shooting out of those blocks, and he's looking like an Olympic caliber runner. Put himself out there, put himself in that type of a, a competitive situation against world class uh, world class athletes in something that's not his specialty, and then to you know, running the 10 threes at his size and, and you know, knowing that that's uh, something he kind of went out and just did. It just shows a lot about his competitive nature and, and uh, you know, his focus and drive to, to excel at everything. He said he's going to translate. That speed's going to translate to the football field this season. I think we're all hoping for that. Oh, yeah, hey, you and me both. Give me your first impressions of working with Pete Carroll. The, the great thing, my first impression with him, which was on a Zoom interview, hasn't changed from the, the, the time I've been around him in person. Uh, he's, he's the same guy every single day with that positive energy that I, I referenced before. Uh, and it's really his positive energy that trickles down throughout this entire building. Tempo, tempo, make it move, let's go. It's just been fun to be around. Uh, you know, just being able to bounce ideas off of him, you know, as a, 
his defensive pass. And we got the football! Sunshine! But he's got a great grasp, obviously, on offensive football as well. So just that, that initial positive uh, attitude allows you to just really have that open line of communication with him every single day. I hear the music blast throughout the building. Does he have a decent music choice? Yeah, hey, there's a little bit of everything and anything gets uh, played. You know, it might be a team meeting, might be uh, just walking through the halls at 5 o'clock and you hear the, uh, the music pumping out of the, uh, that corner office there. <laughs> 